Welcome. Why are we back here? Let me show you. I wanted it to be on stream and set up properly. Hang on. Alright. Volume might be a tad loud, actually. Fix that up. Might actually just be my settings. Ba 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 da da. Um. Oh. oh, it's it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Are you ready, everyone? The time is now. We are officially because I really wanted to have of my fellowship by now. It took me forever to come up with a name. The Barrels Suluk. What? What? But my house. I want my house. How do I rank? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't want to do it off, sc off stream, but... Okay. How do you rank kinship in Lotero? Seven or higher. 90 days. Well. Good to know. This was all for naught. <laughs> Not entirely, though. Um, That's the dream, though. I want that house. All right, North Downs. We are here, and I got... I have a digression <laughs> again to make, because... Okay, look. Character. Skills. Mounts are under skills. I didn't know this, and I already had a festive... <laughs> I didn't rename the festive one, because Cerulean's a pretty good name. But I named the other ones. I bought all these horses, and I've named... Translations for all their names. Manad Ronya, which is, I think means uh, doom, uh, Fate Chaser or End Chaser. A Bay Horse. Isirin, which I think uh, means uh, Glorious Memory. Memories of Glory, that's what it means. My Blood Bay is... This is a this is a fun one because they didn't let me actually have the proper translation. Um, it means misty rain, although <clears throat> November is the is called misty one. So you you understand what I'm trying to name it. Um, good song, what can I say? And Palinata, which is um. Bound for the far and wide. I think, um, like, bound as in, like, obliged. As in, like, um, unable to leave. So it's, like, 
bound inevitably to the far and wide. So yeah, um, so that's kind of cool. And I have my, um, I'm glad to have the kinship finally. And I think it's a good name and I will explain the etymology before I get started on all the quests because I like it. I think I was reading the book and I thought it was kind of cool because, okay, Aragorn finds the, the, uh, elf stone that Glorfindel left right outside the last bridge because he's like, I want to, like, we need a clue and he's like, it's a sign that it's okay to cross. Um, it's like, is this Providence or is this help or whatever, right? It's a, but elf stones, which is what Elisar is, is are barrel, right? And so, elf stone or barrel, so barrels are elf stone, barrels equal Aragorn, right? And I used this beautiful resource <laughs> called the Duero Scholar, which is glorious. I've never seen someone put this much work into Dwarvish research. I love this page. I can't recommend you look it up enough. And basically, what it boils down to is I looked up the dictionary. I had to scroll for a while. And I looked up the term for dragons, plural, because I know in Kuzduel, specifically classic Kuzduel, because we're, it turns out that that's the language that uh the dialect from the blue mountains speaks which is the long beards the other ones are the long beams or the broad beams sorry and that's a different dialect but the coos dual translation i couldn't find a plural for dragons so basically we're the barrel um Ku um Ku suluk which is the green dragons which works on many levels the barrel is a reference to Aragorn, so if you're a human, you follow Aragorn's lead. If you're an elf, it's like Elfstone. The barrel is Elfstone. If you're a dwarf, you get the dwarvish title for, you know, it's a dwarvish house, and it's the barrel, barrel is a stone, and Suluk is the dwarvish term for dragon. And it's called, it's literally the green dragons. We're called the green dragons, but basically in a coy way. It works on so many levels. The only race I didn't account for is Bayornings. I'm sorry, Bayornings. Um, I'm sure it will become bearable eventually. So I like the title quite a bit. So it kind of sounds like the barrel salute. I don't know. I don't know. And that's kind of a stretch, but still time for quests. I've been looking forward to this all week. We've arrived at Trestle Bridge, and I kind of want to make green my color palette now, but I digress. Black and green, that's not a bad pair. Captain Trotter. Oh, hello, Trotter. He finally makes an appearance. Would you do something for me? I have half a mind to lock, lock up every last guard in this sorry excuse for a town after they let this catastrophe take place. Look at our town. People burned out of their homes. Ash falling like snow. A Aggie Digweed was the only one who kept her mind during this attack. If not for her, we would all be dead. Fix. There we go. Fix my mic. If not for her, we would all be dead. Nobody rem even remembers what happened. Just Aggie running to and fro. It doesn't surprise me. He has an add-on. Hey, hi, hi, Jinjar. How's it going, dude? Um, when you, if you pop on, I'll add you to the, the thing. So, what do you think of the title, then? The, 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 the kinship name. I'm kind of, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty proud of it. I like it. And the, the Dwarf Scholar is absolutely, absolute mad lad. He has my full endorsement for his commitment. Holy man, his page is insane. I love it. I love it. I mean, I actually like, I, I would love to just sit and 
tackle it. It'd be great. But it would be cool to see him in Erebor or something. I don't know. But, like, it's sort of, like, along those lines, it's like, don't meet your, your heroes. <laughs> not because I don't... <laughs> just because, like, oh, I might fanboy, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just so cool. Um, if not for her, we would all be dead. Nobody even remembers what happened. Just Aggie, running to and fro, trying to rouse everyone. I'll see that Tolbert Hinton hang... Tolbert Hinton hang for letting this happen. Mark my words. Also, I hope the sound is good. Maintain the guard. Maintaining the guard requires vigilance at all... Uh, vigilance from all. We can't let any more orcs through. If you are looking to help, slay a few orcs. Otherwise, leave me be. I have no time for idle... Idle chat. I feel bad that I can't get the estate now. In 90 days, okay? If you seek to help us, speak with Captain Trotter of the Guard. It will not be an easy task, but mark my words, Trestle Bridge will not fall to these orcs. The people of this poor town would be grateful for whatever help you could, uh, could lend us. If only you had arrived a few days ago. The orcs nearly overran us, thanks to the one guard falling asleep during his watch. Oh, dang. Oh, dear. Did you need something? For sure. Oh, I might as well sell all this. I was going to start decorating. <laughs> I was so excited. It was going to be a whole ed montage at the beginning, but it turns out my fellowship has to be have existed for 90 days. <laughs> oh, it's just too bad. I swear it wasn't my fault. I didn't fall asleep on duty. Listen to me, friend. The orcs are up to some new devilry. I know it. Someday I'll get proof to clear my name. Those orcs are bleeding us dry. We'll be out of even the basics in a few days. If only that caravan hadn't gotten overrun. They had plenty of what we need. There just aren't enough supplies. What to do? What to do? The orcs are thick in non Wathrin to the east, or so the scouts say. I, I don't know anything, I'm sure. Captain Trotter is very preoccupied with punishing those who slept through the attack. But I am much more concerned about what may happen if we let our guard down. I have not slept in two days, but I will not abandon my post here. Would you be willing to help? Will you help me? I dare not abandon my guard, my guard post to investigate the carnage. But would you like to help? You could search, could search the town and figure out how the, this could have happened. The explosion was deafening. Why did no one? Why did no one wake? What caused this mayhem? I've never heard a thing like it in all my life. The orcs have some fiendish magic. We must be vin vigilant. Trestle Bridge may not stand, but I will defend her to the bitter end. No 
noise. Black powder. Okay, don't judge me from a distance. I was like, is that Brendan Lee Mulligan? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> kind of device could bring down the wall. A strange black powder. We have found an exploded barrel amidst the rubble covered in a fine black powder. Oop, forgot. I can sprint now. Oh. Stay a moment. Someone, someone to hear me out at last. Yes, I was on guard duty the night of the blasts, but I did not s fall asleep. Well, I did, but I cannot remember anything about it. It is almost like I was drugged. I only remember waking up to Aggie shaking me, fires roaring all around us. We all slept through the thunderous blasts. How do you explain that? But Captain Trotter will, will hear none of it. Why, thank you, Marino. I appreciate that. I try to be a good narrator. Sometimes I just don't catch up with what I'm reading. They came on us in the night. They were everywhere. We lost so many. So many. I know I should have left, but my... Eidolon. Eidolon. She just wouldn't hear it. Now she's gone. Nellie is leading these people on the on a fool's errand. Trestle Bridge is as good as lost. And this kid's way too happy about it all. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. This way? There we go. A strange black powder. Hey, thanks for the sub, dude. Holy man. Thank you so much. Jeez. Oh my gosh. That's the legend. Marino, your Marino to your legend. Holy man. Do you, do you play Lotoro? Or just read Lord of the Rings in general? I don't know. <laughs> Actually. Unlock. Let me unlock. Yeah. The movies are good. I'm reading the books again for the first time in like 10 years and like comparing my experience playing games and watching the movies like a thousand times. And I love the world of Middle Earth so much. And I have to argue this is the best Middle Earth game easily. Obviously, it's the MMO, but like the attention to detail for the lore is just so perfect. Pretty much. I was noticing something, though. Um, I'm, I'm reading, uh, I'm in the Flight of the Ford right now, and, um, that's where the idea for the guild name came up with, obviously. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a, it, this is a lore, this is a movie, not, this isn't associated with, um, um, New Line Cinema. 
Um, okay, so the, the Lone Lens is, was very weird to read because like, here, I'm just going to digress for a sec because, okay, so Frodo got stabbed in the Dell. I thought he got stabbed on, in both movies had him stabbed on top of the weather top, but it was actually in the Dell that he got stabbed. And then they went south to where it's wooded. So they were all through here, somehow passing by the Forsaken Inn and Minas Ariel to get to the wooded area. And then after four days, they went and now they're at the last bridge. So they bypassed all of the swamp land and all of the forts. <laughs> but that's, a, I mean, that's okay. They still like show geographically that, you know, it makes sense. You know, and it's not a, a stretch that took them five days. They spent five days in Midgewater, so. Um, but also, an interesting touch, which I think was really cool that they added on, was um, they mentioned that no one really uses this these roads except for dwarves. And I thought that was a really cool hook to include so many uh, dower hands in the area. Like this whole arc over here. There was like goblins, dower hands, and then everything with the red maid. They completely avoided everything with the Red Maid, but they were, like, on this end of the road after Weathertop. And, yeah, and then they got here in, like, a page. Which was five days, but still. So, anyway, I thought that was really interesting comparing how they handle that. It was, it, like, again, they were so self, self-aware self for it. Um, but also, the Lone Lens are like brownish but in the book it says the grass is gray but gray is in games is kind of associated with the undead so if there's another whole area that's gray and then there's an undead like the the red swamp i understand the confusion plus they wanted to show that it's autumn so i understand that that uh design choice so anyway some silly observations as someone who absolutely is loving this but is like critical, you know, of the specifics. What do you need? Because I mean, the standard is like these guys did such a good job. Even doing the Shire, that's it didn't it wasn't like illogical. It's and if it's like, well, that's kind of a stretch at some points, it's like oh, that's a big theme of the Hobbit too, where Bilbo gets by on luck. So <laughs> you can add up you can contribute a lot of the stretches to luck as well so i really like it i really like how well they did with how well they did this what's this then incendiary powder of some sort how strange who would do such a thing Can I spit with you a moment? flaming powder i like this not at all i want you to know how it came here i, I want i want to know how it came here but more than that i want to ensure that it never comes here again speak with aggie at the span and if she knows anything of this, this black fire stuff, I've, I've never seen anything like it. If you're looking to help, slay a few orcs. Otherwise, leave me be. I have no time for idle chat. The guard north of the bridge may need your help. The orcs may strike at any time. If you do join the game, join this Laurel and server. That's where I am. Just so you know. <laughs> and it, yeah, and the way it, it, yeah, and also the the especially for book one, from going from the the Shire to Rivendell, is the tone is very interesting. I I talked about that a lot during the Bree chapters or Bree playthrough, but it was interesting to see where Tolkien's priority changed. From making a Hobbit sequel to writing a, ver a a late entry in his Legendarium, which is what he really cared about. Which is what the movies honed in on more, rather than it being a sequel to The Hobbit. The tension is much more what became, what happens later, how the, sort of the tone and everything. While it's like, yeah, it's sort of what Aragorn marked. I think that's the motivation for getting rid of Trotter, personally. 
that's my that's my view anyways i have a lot of views and opinions and i have nothing but love and respect for this game and tolkien's work and the movies and i just you know i just get a little frustrated with the dungeons and this that's all <laughs> could i speak with you a moment you there i need your help sorry this is a woman you there i need your help our poor town is under a threat of another attack from those foul orcs all of us are doing our part to help Trestlebridge survive, and I'm charged with getting supplies to maintain the barricades. The problem is that the outlying farmers were supposed to be bringing some of the supplies we need, only their farms were overrun by orcs. They barely escaped and the orcs scattered their goods. I would send for supplies from the south, but orcs block that route as well. We need those supply those stolen supplies. The three things we need are the barrel of nails they were carrying, a crate of hammers, and a crate of, straw of saws. The orcs should have them at their camps to the northeast. How can I be of service? Oop. There we go. I need those supplies if I'm to have what I need, what is needed to maintain the barricades. You should find the barrels of nails crates of saws and hammers at the orc camps north of Trestle Bridge near the Greenway. You startled me. Captain Trotter is right to be afraid of this black fire. It must be the orcs that have been cropping up near, near here of late, to the northeast near the pass of Nanwathrin. Surely they have wrought some fell magic and are using it to bring down our town and choke off the Greenway. We cannot let them rule more. They failed to destroy us once, so we must assume that they will try again. We cannot let them. Agid Green Digweed wants you to search nearby orc encampments for signs of more black fire. Is there more stuff in the town? I have to keep this up here. I want one more run through for quests. Anything? Nope. Just double checking. Is this literally the Wildwood quests that I'm following yet again? Okay. I can't follow my nose, so the mini-map will have to do. Alright, off we go. Come Nan Manadronia. Spent way too much time last night for coming up with all my horse names. I'm just glad to have my horses, finally, and understanding how they work. I've been walking this entire time, and it's just cool to finally have steeds. The trestle span. Orcs are laying low for now. They could attack at any moment. Oh. We will be relieved by the next sh shift in a few hours. We've managed to repel the attacks on Trestle Bridge. But for how long can we continue? Ah! Victory! Orcs! It's another one for me. <laughs> Take that. That was that was very abrupt. Victory. Perm. Okay. Any 
Any sign of the orcs? Do you see anything? It's not. All right. I should actually keep that over there. So I'm going to be around here for a while. Oh, this is creepy music. I love it. Seeing what slayer deeds there are. The Tarkrif Orcs. A number of Tarkrif Orcs have established encampments along the roads near Trestlebridge and the Greenway, posing a threat, a dire threat to the peoples of the western North Downs. Defeat the Tarkrip orcs at their encampments. Don't mind if I yes. Oh, wandering cruel beak. Quest. Wandering cruel beak. A number of cruel crabine have settled in alongside the Tarkrip orcs, waiting to feast upon the corpses of men who, when the orcs have had their their say. These merciless birds should be driven off, for they fill up, fill you with an unpleasant sense of foreboding. Cauldron full of vile, bubbling liquid. Oh, wait, what? What am I doing with the torch? Wait, what? Destroyed the black fire at the third encampment. Why would I do that? She's gonna blow! Alright, that was probably very dangerous. Okay, what, what's happened? Okay. Collected an orcish sleeping drought. Barrel full of nails. Collected the barrel of nails. Hello. <laughs>
Tark Ripleaders. of hammers. Destroy the black fire. Roasting can. Nice. Ready to advance, wandering cruel beaks. You have defeated a number of the invading Krebine. Nice. the Tarkrip encampment's threatening Trestle Bridge. The people of the De North Downs are safer for a time. all the, the actual quests. Oh, get rid of this. Oops. Oh, remove from tracker. Thank you. It does kind of surprise me, in a good way, that it's they saved fighting orcs for, you know, you, until, you know, this far in. Because it's like, I barely killed any orcs. Until until this dream, I had only killed two orcs. Like, the orcs around uh, Bree, Bree Town and stuff, but that's about it. I saved them for this big, uh, big section. So much. Is it all? Is it all destined for us? Or perhaps they were planning it to to bring it along to Bree once we were all dead. Evil surrounds us, Rilmore. This is a bad time. Mark my words. I've never seen orcs dare to come so close or interfere interfere with our lives, other than scare travelers on the road. I've never seen such great numbers of them. Be wanting to tell Captain Trotter all about this. What can I do for you? Oh, wonderful. You found the supplies. Thank you. There is something else that I would have you do if you would. Might I take a moment of your time? You see, the other the other thing needed for the barricades is wood. In the past, we would fell trees in the Nan Wathrin when we needed so, when we needed lumber. But now the orcs lurk there. We were so desperate for lumber that my husband Maddie and my brother Noel Tobit 
risked leaving Trestlebridge and went north along the Greenway proper in search of trees to fell. It has been too long since I have heard from them, and I'm worried something terrible has happened. Would you search north along the Greenway for them? I can't bear to think that something bad might have happened to them. Greetings. Maddie and Knowles said that said they were going north along the Greenway, so hopefully you'll find them there. I'm so worried something terrible has happened to them. What do you need? Hey, Queen, how's it going? Queen Maisie. Oh, Goose. I'm doing fantastic. I am doing wonderfully. I'm super hyped for this stream. I got my fellowship. I don't have my estate like I wanted, but that's okay. I need 90 days with my fellowship. I was so excited. Like, I'm going to make my fellowship, and then I'm going to buy the house. And I'm like, why can't I buy the house? <laughs> oh, that's fine. It was it was rough. <laughs> Finish the or my last stream, my last actual stream, like, was not very long. It was just me wrapping stuff up. But, like, the one before that was so, so much happened. Oh, but I'm hyped, I'm hyped for this one. You found something to prove that we were drugged? That is wonderful, Rilmore. You should show the captain at once so that he can set me free. Might I take a moment of your time? Please, show the sleeping drought to Captain Trotter. Then he will know I was not remiss in my duties. We have been sabotaged. So excited for the North Downs. Nelly wants me to lead this band? Fine. But we'll need help. What do you need? Captain Trotter listens to your explanation and takes a deep sniff from a from the poison flask. The orcs brewed this, did they? This is not good for us. It appears they have taken to using sabotage when their raids have been dashed against our defenses at the trestle span. Suppose Talbot may be freed from his bonds, but the guards must be on the uh, be on the alert for any suspicious travelers from this point on. It is a sad day for Trestlebridge. How can I be of service? So the orcs were behind it all, eh? But how did they come in if nobody saw them? Hopefully, you can ins you have ensured that they won't be back in the sa to the same mischief anytime soon, which will give us time to rebuild. There are still mysteries to be solved. How did they sneak the stuff in? I don't know. Stocks used to imprison the sh and shame Talbot Hinton. You freed the innocent guard from his unjust imprisonment. I cannot thank you enough for your help, good Rilmore. I do not know if I have ever known if I've ever been thrown in the stocks, but I can tell you it is not a comfortable experience. I do think Captain Trotter was ready to hang me for what happened. You have likely saved my life, my friend. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't feel like talking right now. I get that. What do you need? Hmm. Well then, I'm glad that debacle is over with. Perhaps now we can focus on more pressing issues. Why to take a moment of your time? I wonder, Rilmore. Did you e did you even find the brewer of the foul potion while you explored the orc encampments? You tell Captain Trotter that you had no such luck. Ah, that is dire news indeed. For it seems that the enemy's influence stretches further than I ever thought. I have a troubling notion that Nan Wathrin has fallen to orcs. The pass of Nan Wathrin is a dangerous place in the best of times. If you wish to help Trestle Bridge once and for all, you must wipe out the orc presence from Nan Wathrin. Note, Nan Wathrin is a dangerous area. It would be wise to travel there in the company of a fellowship. No, 
know what, honestly, I'll just, I should probably just. Oh yeah, and that's there, so. I'm going to remove that for now, too. Keep it focused. I've been in Trestle Bridge all my life, and I'll die before any orc drives me off. moment the question remains as to how the suspicious powder got into town at all we have many travelers here being on the greenway and it did and i did hear rumors of an, of an ugly mean looking man that came through last night i didn't see him myself but he made a few folks uneasy he was all he was already gone when i went to look for him folks say he looked more like more than a little orcish have you ever heard of such a thing? He was a half-orc. Search for the half-orc who planted the powder. This is the farthest I've ever gotten in the game. So I'm pretty excited. This work weren't hard enough. Without the car, we ain't going to be able to take any lumber back. I tell you, there's a camp atop this that hill east. There's a camp atop that hill east of here. See any sign of orcs coming this way? You let me know. I'm sorry, but you need something. So, Elsie sent you? Well, I'm glad for it. Well, we did run afoul of them orcs. Fortunate to have escaped with our lives, we are. But our cart here, well, it didn't get off quite as well, as you can see. No matter how many trees we fell, if we don't have our cart fixed, we can't bring them back to Trestle Bridge. I don't know if you can help me. If we don't get a wheel for this cart, this lumber ain't going anywhere. I'd send you to Trestle Bridge, but I doubt they have anything to spare. They'd have anything to spare. Every little bit there is precious, but there's some hope yet. See, there were some farmers escaping to Trestle Bridge, and their wagons got overrun by them orcs. Well, their supplies were stolen, and their carts broken up. But there might be a wheel from one of them, one of their carts, that we can salvage. I don't think they dragged the carts into Nanwathrin. So I think you'll find the remains of them carts in that orc, in orc camp straight east of here. If we're going to find a wheel to salvage, you'll be there, I'd wager. Can't you leave me to my misery? I don't think them orcs dragged the broken wagons. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Cartwheel. An 
undamaged cartwheel. And see if you're north of the bridge. Whoa, leg. Ah, you found one. This one looks like it'll work. It's a bit smaller than the one the other wheels, so the ride will be a bit rougher. But as long as we get this lumber to Trestle Bridge, it won't matter how rough the ride is. I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? Alright, well, Noel here and I will I put this wheel on the cart. There's one last thing I'd ask. I'd ask you to do. Go back to Elsie in Trestle Bridge and tell her that all's well here. Once the cart is fixed, Noel and I are going to t take down a couple more trees and then bring our load down to the town. Of course, we couldn't have done that without your help. Thanks for that. Now hurry. It won't do to stand around here waiting for orcs. It's a sorry day. All right. to attack. Tar grip assault here. These items were stolen from the Trestle Bri from Trestle Bridge by the orcs. Ah. Ah. A number of crates lie scattered throughout the orc encampment northeast of Trestle Bridge, likely looted from the town. You should search the crates and collect anything that should be returned to the devastated town. Crate has already been looted. Oh, shush you. Book torn apart. You've discovered an old ma old map page of some apparent historic significance upon an orc slain in the Tarkrip assault camp. You should defeat Tarkrip orcs in the assault camp and collect other any other pages you find. Okay. I will never object to killing orcs. <laughs>
We found a great number of scattered pages in the Tarkrip assault camp. There will surely be these will surely be better off back in the hands of the people of Trestlebridge, rather than in the claws of the scheming orcs. I wholeheartedly agree. Half orc, Lugbus, die Lugbus. Found me out, did you? Collected the Founder's Book of Trestlebridge, bearing an inscription belonging to the Shelton family. We have found all the missing pages from the valuable historic artif um, artifact. Okay, I gotta find and enter the dangerous pass of Nan Wathrun. Yikes. I thought those were people. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Uh. New deeds, stronghold explorations. Most actions available. The Pass of Nanwathrin. You've come to the edge of Nanwathrin. You may enter if you wish, but it will be a dangerous path. Somewhere within Nanwathrin lies an enemy potion brewer, deadly in his craft. You should find and defeat the Tarkrip Defiler. Okay. I can do that. of Nanwathrin. In stepping to the edge of the gorge of Nanwathrin, you see that it has fallen utterly into the hands of the Tarkrip orcs. A difficult and treacherous path lies beyond the bridge. You should defeat orcs in Nanwathrin, but bring companions with you wherever you go from this point forward, for it is, a, it is deadly within.
quest. The Crabine of Nanwathrin cast their spying eyes far and wide. Watchful eyes, dark wings. <laughs> Oh, for scholar. Nice. Forgot to do something. Check it. Oh, do, 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 do. The plan. Ready for this? Nice. <laughs> Nailed it. It's five areas. That's cool. Defeated a number of orcs from Western Nanwathrin.
one more bird. or anywhere I need to go have a conversation with him preferably about the let's freaking go now remember Laurel Inn is where I'm at it's a EU server the watchful eyes dark wings you have defeated a number of Krabine in Nanwathrin Oh, they're not going to bug me anymore, are they? Well, I guess that guy will. Now we'll get back there. Probably. Yeah, I will. Giving her broken vases. Oh. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, hello there. Poison, sure. Oh my gosh. Suddenly it's alarming when they don't go down instantly. I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's supposed to be really high. So I take it he's up there. Which is this way? Or not? There he is. Stupid defiler. Find me. Let me know what uh what uh race and class and everything you're gonna be. You defeated the Tar Crypt of You hear the clanking of hammers not far from here. Whenever the orcs deign to build, the construction has only one use war. You should find and disable the siege engines and stop their construction once and for all. The 
Defiler's brewing station, a station at which the Tarkrypt Defiler brews his foul potions, droughts, and poisons. You destroyed the brewing station used by the Tarkrypt Defiler. You defeated the Defiler responsible for brewing the sleeping drought that led to the catastrophe at Trestle Bridge. None of these are going to be as good, are they? the worth the most. gotta destroy these siege engines. Cunningly built siege craft, surely of too clever a design to have been made by orcs. Stronger. Venturing deeper into Nan Wathrin has revealed even stronger breeds of Tarkrip or Tar Tarkrip orcs. Laurelin. I'll, I'll type it out. Goblin Slayer. Let's go. Goblins of Nan Wathrin have been found to be in possession of valuable elvish relics pillaged from an unknown place called Meluinen. You should gather relics from the goblins and their hidden caches in hope that they may someday be restored to Meluinen. That's beautiful and has never been done. Alright, sounds good. I'm gonna be playing all day, so just message whenever you're on. Can't wait. It's, it's so fun. It's such a good game, dude. Have a good day, man. Bothered yet? This way.
chest. A chest hoarded by goblins, likely containing stolen relics. I have some scholar treasure trove here, too. Well, it's a treasure trove for everything, but, like, I'm not a miner or anything. Or, uh... Dude, there's so many, like, I know it's supposed to be, like, a threatening area, but all I see is dangling keys. <laughs> there's so much here. Hey, Stone, how's it going, dude? Here. Oh. Oh. I just entered combat. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Smarty. Oh, my gosh. I just finished my drink. I'll drink, I'll continue drinking once I, um, or hydrating once I, uh, finish off these, um, tart drinks. Alright. Drinkage. drinks. <laughs> well, appreciate it. Thank you. Delicious. Yum. All right. Certainly better than all these goblins. They're kind of all getting dead. Oh, right. Yeah, you're, um... Yeah. Good luck with that, by the way. you. I never did end up beating the adventure of on stream. I kind of just ditched it. Yeah, you were telling me. Higrapur. Why are the orcs keeping these urns around? Weirdos.
straight too far. I do believe I have. Oh, hello. Sorry, Shanker. Put a wall here outright. Alright, thank you very much. Again, non Wathrin's dangling keys city. <laughs> so much to do, so many to kill. There we go. Good. Breaking my legs. You have defeated a number of goblins from Nanwathren and reclaimed the relics of ancient Meluinen. 
You have honored the memory of the elves who once roamed these lands. Cool. Happy to help. So I gotta deal with something here. Marksmen, Fight Masters, Raging Tarkrips. That don't really have a vocation or career so much as just bad temperament. <laughs> Defeat the Tarkrip Siege Engineer. At the, the moment the music hit, too. Oh, that's great. Find the engineer. chest boxes do I have? Waste. Rude. Look at that's not even high. I could have landed that in real life. Eh, well, almost. I'm high elf. No excuses. Okay, which part of this ascended up there? like when you've had nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking days. Not optimal. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excuse me, do you have point me in the direction of your engineer? This place is a labyrinth, really mad. It goes left to right, obviously, but, like, I couldn't, like, if I wanted to get, say, on that hill, I, I couldn't tell you where to, like, go forward or back to. Attack. What is happening? Is it nooting? to kill any more raging guys at least. Did they finally calm down? That's probably not it. No. A corpse. A corpse of someone who met an untimely end. It's all good. Lurking is permitted. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. 
It's just orcs, not even Uruks. It's just, yeah, like, but like this is the force. That they were this entire area is has gathered to attack through Breeland, and they were gonna invade. So, this is the force that has been amassed. Is he? I want to kill him. Okay. Oh, I have a good guide. You can use the map, Jim. <laughs> They're right around my name? Uh, what? They're right around my name, like this? Or... It's like the, I don't know, that's the hood, though. Um. Oh! Hang on, let me just, okay. Um, if it's glowing, then yes. That's just a normal dude. But, like, yeah, if it's glowing, then that's meant to be, like, the strongest version of, or, you know, of that type around the area. Or, like, a boss-type character. So, yeah. If it's, like, glowing and has, like, the Eye of Sauron out there and stuff... at the marksman. Oh, they show up at the same time. Okay, so I got all the marksmen. I just need to kill, uh... Siege Engineer and one... Uh... Oh, he's gonna fight me anyway. Fight Masters. Are 
you an engineer? as well. Probably just wasted it, but I don't care. I earned. I earned it. burglar class bagging all these riches bagging I <laughs> bagging's all these riches <laughs> I tried to make a pun and I missed it. <laughs> shanker is this, yeah, it's gotta be this way excuse me guys That's, that's one. some revolting guys kind of figured it's also kind of redundant it's an orc He's an engineer, but he's a half orc. Look at them gathered around, being all smug. That's why I'm gonna take all their things. Bus was right. The pickings are better in the north. They said that all at once. They are of one mind. Oh, are they actually going to give me a hard time?
Oh gosh. No, don't knock me out. Don't knock me out, please. Reflexively just spamming one and two. And I need to do two two one four. Just two one four to heal. Right. There we go. To Higropor. You've combed much of Nanwathrin, but there is one corner yet ex yet unexplored. Your heart warns you that this last venture deep into the past will be dangerous. Find he Higrapur. I could do that. How's my uh, stuff doing? Half half hour, or forty five minutes, depending. Siege plans. Plans for another siege against the already vulnerable Trestle Bridge. You have destroyed the remaining plans for a fresh attack on Trestle Bridge. You have done much to ensure the safety of Trestle Bridge this day. The Tarkreep siege, siege machines have been dismantled, and the plans of attack have been, have been allayed. I don't need Lagrip's fire to deal with you. Wait, are you, are you back already? You've already lost. Yeah, no kidding. Get anything from killing him? The elite ones? Oh, the elite names. I see. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Kill him. Leave him be. Okay, the Orcs of Nanwathrin. I have never completed it. The Orcs of Nanwathrin only grow stronger and more cruel as you press farther into the pass. You should defeat the Tartrip Shankers and Brawlers you encounter as you make your way through the eastern edge of Nanwathrin. It's not a crime to be revolting. can wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, my health, no! I ain't come this far through this entire pass just to die now. I don't need fellowship for this. I need grit, determination, and a force of will. And attention span. <laughs>
I still have to find a fight, fight masters. Um, yeah. I want to be a steward as well. The warg pens. Goblin bred wargs now infest Tigrapur, deep in Nanwathrin. Should slay the vile wargs and destroy their food barrels. Always a pleasure. This is what we do best. What we do best is not very nice. I'm glad that I had unlocked, that I was able to get High Elf, because I had, had other characters that I had done deeds with, or done, uh, gotten enough loader up points for, slash turbine points, back when we called that. Um, so I was able to get High Elf. I really like playing High Elf. First character was human, second was Elf. unlocked uh, stout axe. Yeah, I don't know when they added those. I've been away from the game for too long. Another thing, I unlocked Warden at some point. I don't know if I got it with points or if I got, um, if it, like, came unlocked eventually. I do know what it came up, it was unlocked during Mines of Moria or something. But I'm glad I was able to choose that because Warden is so overpowered. It's great. Oh, Ward Slayer? Okay. Looking altar found in Nan Wathrin. It will be destroyed. A barrel of reeking meat from for the wargs. That they hunted for, right? Uh, villages don't count. Worst thing is this guy's not even on a target. Oh. There we go. Remove that. 
There we go. Although he does count as a torch and three goblins. Excuse me, sir. Just destroying your food. Thank you, much Lee. Eight levels higher than the power of these guys, so <laughs> not hard, but they take a while. Master. Oh, and Gloom Fang. Oh, interesting. Okay. Sneeze. 
now. Half an hour to return. That's not bad. Last one. Last one anyway. You've defeated the wargs of Higra Hig hang on, Higrapor, and ensured that they will not return by burning their food sources. Sweet. Brawler. I'm gonna get all the orc deeds so quickly. Like, I'm already on advance, and I've barely entered the north difference. <laughs> <laughs> I must find the shankers. Oh, it didn't work quite as I wanted. Way. Oh, put a line of sight. There we go.
right the altars. I see the one from here. Guys, I need to do this. I'm just leaving. Nothing dangerous around here. Except I want that urn. Sweet. There's another one. I found one. I have found a shanker. Urn. And there's two altars, right? I just see one. Ah, there it is. There's the other one. named character. I'm going to have to come back, aren't I? How gradual is this?
They never account for the fact that they're archers. I just expect them to just come charge and get out here. of Nanwathrin. You've defeated a number of the strong a number of the strongest orcs in eastern Nanwathrin. These foes were hardy and numerous, and your valiant endeavor to defeat them back to beat them back has earned you great renown amongst the free peoples of Middle Earth. I survive that. Okay. Sure. Well, I am officially too powerful for all of you. It's a good feeling. They know better now. Where you want to go? Probably. Fifteen minutes before my 
start, my stuff starts vanishing. It's fine, I only need to kill one more dude. And get distracted by broken ass. How is, how, 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 okay. I don't understand how gold is worth silver. It's a riddle that would stomach even the great Bilbo Baggins. Keep it like there has to be a fighting master around here somewhere. There's just got to be. Master, Mr. Fightmaster. <gasps> there he is. I found him at long last. Excuse me, sir. Let's take a closer look at the end of this sword. You have answered the challenge of the Tarkrit fighters in central Nanwathrin, besting these terrible foes. Did I win? Oh my gosh, I think I beat them all. I am the victor. And to the victor go the broken urns. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna sell some stuff. What can I do for you? Prepare first and start selling all the things. Start to, I said. Alright, and then while these are going, I go take a quick break. Be right back.
Thank goodness, it's still going. I do for you. Okay. Oops, didn't want to buy that. My bad. Thank you. How can I be of service? Wonder if I got enough ruined sec second age trinkets. Oh dear. Okay, while this is going, <laughs> I wanted to actually, um, I brought up the Middle Earth Atlas before, and I never really like like after I cleared uh, Arid Luin. I was, like, reading the entries, because I thought the entries for Arid Lewin, considering it was, like, not very, um, uh, like, mentioned too much in, in like, the actual narratives. Um, it added some interesting context and subtext and all that good malarkey. And, um, yeah, I didn't know if I, anyone wanted me to read from that more, if, assuming I'm allowed. But, I mean... I don't think you can buy it anymore. And plus, it's really cool. So I might grab that while researching and watching my numbers go up. Yeah, I'm actually going to measure it. That's where I'm at right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll grab that book. Because I, I, th I think it's really neat. And I think it's really well done, too. And, um, you know, it was just published for a little while. One sec. Okay, I grab it.
Not with my other books. Oh dear. actually stopped animating. There. This is bizarre. I had set aside and everything.
Um, success. Okay. Oh, did it break? It broke. What can I do for you? It completely broke. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I kind of give up. Which is, that's really sad though, because like I had it. It was out and ready and then it might have been moved at some point. It's annoying. I also have my Middle Earth roleplay, which would be cool to read from. Or I could just full on, like, read. Children of Purim or something. I don't know. I'm just baffled. Where would that have gone? Might as well make lunch. <laughs> oh well.
I'm back. Sorry that took so long. And my mouse moved, so I can't see where my cursor was. It was like over here or something. Okay. Repair that, please. Greetings. Hello. But see that everyone's like, why, why, or not everyone, but like, it's it seems odd. I'm always going for the the scholar stuff and the artifacts and stuff, but like, then you then you do your research and then you start leveling and it's great. How can I be of service? I, I 
cannot believe it. Truly, Rilmore, you were able to enter that pass and leave again with your life intact? It is incredible. You have halted what would have been certain war for our people. You have saved the good folk of, the, of, Tress, of Trestle Bridge, saved their homes and livelihoods. I cannot thank you enough. Without those maps, the orcs might not have as easy a time raiding our town. How can I be of service? The Founder's Book! I never thought to see it again. It is in rough shape, but I think you found most of the torn out pages. I'm sure I can repair it. Thank you, Rilmore. I have given it... I had given it up for lost. But I'm so glad you recovered the Founder's Book. If only that caravan hadn't gotten overrun, we have plenty of what we need. What can I do for you? Maddie and Noel are safe and sound? Oh, bless you, bless you. That's the best news I've heard in many a day. I was fearing the worst, but I'm glad to have my worries, hear my worries word for naught. I just hope they hurry back and get back to Trestlebridge. I don't think I'll get a bit of rest until I see them back. You defeated the ugly brute? Thank you, Rilmore. You will have to be less w welcoming of tr by to travelers now, I'm afraid. If such a man could come unhindered and wreak such havoc, then we will never be safe. Orcs creep ever closer to our gates. These are dangerous times, my friend. That is a wild hat. A word with you. I've helped you've helped us helped us a great deal, Rolmora, but I see that you are ready to be on your way. I would like to give you a word of advice. Follow the greenway north, but do not pass into the shadowed fields. Turn east at the crossroads. Never go north beyond. You would do well to heed this advice. I bid you a safe journey. Travel to the crossroads north along the greenway. Come, Manadronia. We ride north. signpost points to a dark land to the north. 
Bornost. The light of a campfire catches your eye. Um, up here? Minchim's camp. Hey, horsey. Colbert the Mad. Intermean. If you hear voices on the fields, heed them not. They will only lead you astray. I've been in this foul place too long. It's a sorry day. Ah, hail traveler. You are in need of a warm fire or a meal. You are welcome to join our strange company. We did not get we do not get many folk at the edge of Fornost. What errand could possibly bring you hither? Will you hear my sorrows? I am Minchum, a ranger of the north, and ever a protector of these lands. My duty bids me to keep watch over the fields of Fornost, but they have grown dark and evil. Wise folk do not come near this place. Allow me to introduce my companion, Colbert the Mad, so he likes to call himself. He wandered out to the field one day and sat himself down at my fire. It was some time ago, and he has not left. Beware the fields. They have driven men mad. You hear voices on the fields, heed them not, or will we lead you astray? I welcome the company of another here to my lonely post. Oh. So, he, like him, he's mad. Okay, I got it. How can I be of service? The man fixes you with a hard stare, lines of amusement etched into his pale skin. Yes, I am Colbert the Mad. I come out of Fornost and live to tell the tale. I remember no time before, but I walked the dark fields and saw many things. You are Rilmore the Mad. Yes, mad, mad, mad to come to this place. They are ghosts, there are ghosts, yes, and evil spirits. More terrible than are the bears. Than any are the bears. What? I'm less worried about this, the bears. The man seems quite unhinged. <laughs> How gray is the shadow upon my heart. And there is Ithramin, our vigilant lookout. He speaks but rarely and smiles not at all. But his watchful presence eases my fears and lets me sleep better at night. So I do not begrudge him in silence. I begrudge him his silence. I believe he came from Mil Melunien. Melunien. Far to the southeast, but I do not know what brought him hither. Either I mean, peers at you calmly, but does not speak. After a moment of uncomfortable staring, he looks away and seems to listen intently to some distant sound only he can hear. Might you spare a moment of your time? You ask of Ethermin? He watches and listens all day. Myself, I haven't strong hearing, let alone the keen senses of the elves. I know not what he hearkens. He speaks very little, but of one thing I am certain. Whatever draws his attention, he fears it. He will not venture into the fields of Fornos to seek it. You ask Ithramin what he hears, but he does not respond. His expression is slightly annoyed, as if you have interrupted him in something important. Meditate to listen for any strange sounds. Ithramin looks past you, his eyes searching the fell-looking fields. You suddenly detect just barely a far-off song, ghostly and unsettling. You 
You tell Ithramin that you have heard the strange voice. He looks at you sharply. His words come haltingly, as if the common tongue is strange to him. You hear the twisted song. Great evil lies beyond the light of this fire. Do you seek death? If not, stay and listen from afar. Um, what's happening? What is happening? Idramin breaks his silence to caution you against seeking the voice. Find the source of the voice. Don't mind if I do. Darkest. Oh dear. Excuse me, sir. That's Imperial. Please don't eat me. Tra la 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 Red with blood where life has fled Pretty flowers so bright red Red with blood where life has fled Tra la 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 Um What do you need? Tra la 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 Oh But it is long since I had someone to sing and dance with Come sing Tra la 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 Fool, I am Olnarth Ornathron. You little, uh, your little Edeline is no more. Come to me now, and come and die. Fools, I am driven from this place. I'm driven, sorry, I'm driven from this one. But I am not defeated! We shall meet again. What has happened? Where am I? Where is she? Oh, you saved me! From her, from... Olnathron. Oh, I should go back now. Back home. Okay, what did that prompt say? You've driven the fell spirit, Olnathron from Edeline. You did well, but many would have survived such an in encounter, let alone drive off the fell spirit without harming the girl. Will you lend me your ear? Poor, this poor girl. She is from a farm not far from here. The fell spirit Olnathron seems to have tricked her into coming. 
My duty does not allow me to pursue the villains of Fornost, unless they are unwise enough to venture south of where we stand into the North Downs. I must stay here, but you are bound by no such oath. Of everyone, Colbert the Mad knows the most about Fornost and its many fell landmarks. Maybe he will have an inkling of where Olnathron would likely be hiding. Hello there. You want to search the fields of Fornost? You cannot walk the steps I walked without going a tad mad. I came from the north and the west and saw piles of dirt with bones sticking out, with treasure glinting with from within. I saw lights that called me to my death, and I saw graves wherever I looked. Colbert has given you a vague list of landmarks to the western fields. In the western fields. Fell and foul barghests have taken to wandering the fields of Fornost. They follow the dead, and they leave death in their wakes. Deed Redeemer. Nice. Shades of former days. Shades of Oathbreakers, cursed to remain after life has fled, haunt the fields of Fornost. They're deadly in their hatred of all things that live and breathe. for um slaying the Why am I stopped? Why am I stopped? Forward. Oh. Status? Yeah, it's probably a status effect.
You have defeated many Barghists in the western fields of Fornost. Uninterested, uninterested. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, I'm good. I think I'm okay. I would rather not. We 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 don't need we don't need to worry about that. We're we're yeah. <laughs> Hell. Just how's it going, Poteen? Just in time for me to escape this. Ah, oh, I can take him. Oh, 100%. Durlum. Uh, I, did, I was about to start attacking him, too. <laughs> like, what seems to be a problem? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Sheer terror strikes. Oh, it's funny. It's going fantastic, dude. How's it go How are you? Oh, digging for relics. As Colbert the Mad hinted, you have encountered some odd-looking mounds during... Your travel, your exploration of the fields of Fornost. You should dig and see if there's anything worth finding buried in this strange ground. Whoa. Trippy. A mound burial, a rounded burial mound. Yeah, we've been in uh, non-Wathrin. May Ulnathron curse you. Oh. So at the beginning of the stream, it was really funny. Um, because... I was at the estate I wanted to buy, made my fellowship, and then tried to buy the estate house. And it wouldn't let me because it needs to exist for 90 days first. So anyway, the barrel Suluk is, um, is, uh, the fellowship. And I like the name quite a bit. It has meaning. Digging for relics. The digging was dangerous work in, dis in, in disturbed and sullied earth. But you uncovered some valuables just the same. You're richer for your troubles. Good. the cold. You feel a terrible chill and realize that a great and old evil presence is near. You have encountered Nathir, 
terrifying presence in the fields of Fornost. This ghostly being has gained power from having pulled the life from the lands around it. Dang. Hello, Nathir. Come closer, old creature. Closer. Let the cold take you. Do not be afraid. It will all be over soon. Yes, it will be. You've defeated one of the chief forces of evil in the fields of Fornost, Nathir, who drains the warmth from men. open grave. This grave has been recently disturbed. Resting coffin. You've defeated many shades in the western fields of Fornost. Everyone had just begun. Although I don't really need to go out of my way, do I? Some lesson I have to keep learning every area. It'll happen naturally. Unless they're trolls. The grave. This grave has been recently disturbed. faint glimmer catches your eye as you approach this disturbed burial site. A fell glimmer. The disturbed tomb in this clearing seems to shimmer briefly with an odd eeriness. Perhaps it was only a trick of the light, but you should investi investigate more closely. A disturbed tomb. Sure, let's, di let's disturb it further. Whoa. It's a hateful light. Don't follow them. Um. More often. More often. You have dispersed the wicked lights of Morophin. You have dispersed Morophin's fell light from this haunted place. Right? Bloodthirsty... Akasoth. Achasoth or Akathoth? Akasoth. Akasoth. You feel a hatred bent upon you and realize that a presence filled with fury is near. You've encountered Akasoth, a terrifying being in the fields of Fornost. This ghostly entity has grown in bloodlust from having pulled the life from the lands around it. Uh, 
coming in closer, war creature. Closer. Bleed for me. I can almost taste it. You have driven off Akins Ak Ak Akasoth. You have defeated one of the chief forces of evil in the fields of Thornost. Bloodthirsty Akasoth, killer of men. grave has been recently disturbed. Grave has recently been disturbed. Over here.
That's a pillar. Okay, what am I doing here then? Not it is here. Okay, got it. Banzai. The grave has been recently disturbed. Gray is the shadow upon my heart. You tell Mincham, the whites you sp who spoke of Ulnathron and Thamlorn. The waking of Mor Mora Morafin, a light of death, and newly disturbed graves. If her tale is true, Ulnathron is likely retreated to Thamlorn, but her power has not waned. This is troubling news, Rulmar. Will you lend me your ear? I believe Ulnathron is at Thamlor and some ruins to the, in the western fields. I have heard dark rumors about that p place of late, and it could well be the source of the evil stirring in Fornost. My horse will take you there if you wish to go. You must be careful. You are a seasoned warrior, but this place is truly evil. Oh. Western ruins Tham of Thamlorn. Strange idols can be found all over Thamlorn, spewing noxious green clouds into the fields of Fornost. 
You should disable the idols and stop the spread of corruption from this evil place. Noxious idol. A ni noxious idol spewing a fell and poisonous light, covering the fields of Fornos in corruption. I like this I like this area. It's like very uh, like you don't know which way is you know which corridors take you where but like it makes sense. Like in terms of like the archaeology too. I don't know. I like it. I think it looks nice. Ulnathron fell spirit. Sup, how's it going? You're looking dead. It is some crazy hair, holy man. The Dunedain cannot withstand the might of the dead, and neither can you. You will all die, and this land will be covered in our fell shadows. Die now, and join the shadows, fool. Get out of here. Excuse me. Not you. Come on.
a lot of oath breakers. Like, just the sheer amount of like people who just didn't obey. And now they are cursed. Okay, where's the horse? You see my horse? Mincham's horse will take you back. Mincham's cat. How grey is the shadow upon my heart? I'm glad you were able to disable those idols, for I believe they, fueled by Olnathron herself, have been responsible for the increase in the corruption of Thornost of late. Gray is the shadow upon my heart. Ah, my friend. I know you have been victorious. A shadow that has, has darkened my thoughts has vanished. You have the gratitude of the rangers. Would you stay a moment and learn of my troubles? You've been a great boon to us. But I would imagine that my friend Amarian needs your help more than I. He has stationed himself at Amon Wraith, just east of here, guarding a number of refu refugees of the North Downs. I know he could use help looking after them. That these fell spirits now openly torment the mortal realm is a test testament to the evil of these times. Thank you, Romor. I will never forget the service you have done me and the memory of my wife. Here. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? I went many, many places in the fields of Fornost. I came from a group of treasure hunters, you know. But they are still within. I went to Amon Om Amrun, Amrun and heard the call of death. I sought treasure there, but I could not withstand the presence there. It is far to, far to the east. Will you seek your own death? Mad, mad, mad. All right. Well, I went north. And look what it did. Positive.
Othra Car, Bornost, Trestle Bridge, Amon Reef. What can I do for you? The goblins and goblins or wargs come to Amon Wraith. I do not know how we will stand. Oh, he's got a little pupper named Yorhu. Our responsibilities weigh heavily upon me. How can I be of service? Incham sent you, did he? Good man. I could use a capable pair of hands around here. There are many mouths to feed. Stay a moment. You are welcome to rest here for a time, friend. But I'm afraid that you will not find much peace. Evil stir thing evil things stir in Fornost, while the hills of Anundir to the east have rav are ravaged by wargs. These people look to me for, for their defense. Alas, food is in short supply, and I fear to leave them alone while I hunt. I'm on Wraith was of old a defensible position, but I'm only one man. If you choose not to heed my warning and travel east, I'd ask that you hunt the boars that roam Minas Vrudin. Then they have taken over those ruins and show no sign of leaving. Amarian has is hard to talk to. I think it comes of being a ranger. Rude. Hope the warg soon tire of Anundir and we can return to our homes. My husband hurt his legs. Hurt his leg when we ran from the wargs. Wargs and goblins invaded Anundir. And we were barely able to escape. Amarian is looking after us until we can return to our homes. Amon Wraith is hardly a suitable home, but it will do for now. Agnes Mart Martlet. I'm sure that Ranger is a nice young man, if, if a bit strange, but he always seems so grim. I've had to keep the bears away from my farm for years. Now I guess it doesn't matter. Those bears carry away any of my livestock while I'm away. I don't know how long we can last here undetected. I don't think everyone from Anundir made it safely to Amon Wraith. Amarion is doing his best to help us, but he is just one man. Minas Vrun.
Arnorian statue. An ancient Arnorian statue looking out upon the ruins of Amon Vrun. Spelled Arnorian with a lowercase. As you look upon the ancient statue, you realize that several significant small pieces seem to be missing, leaving holes where relics should be. The statue looks to have been looted, but lately. Perhaps the missing treasures can be found nearby. The looters may have buried the pieces for a later recovery. Yeah, X marks the spot. Disturbed Earth. Some recently disturbed Earth. You found a missing relic from the Arnorian statue. Oh, Priest Stonehand. What can I do for you? You are skilled in the hunt as you are, are welcome, Rilmore. This meat will last for a long while. The wargs and goblins cannot stay in and on deer forever. And with this meat, I can feed the families of Amundi An Anundir who have come to me for protection. You have my thanks. Would you do something for me? 
We have enough food now to last a good while. The people under my care will not be satisfied until they have reclaimed their lands from the wargs and goblins that have invaded Anandir. We must be cautious. There's a camp of goblins on the slopes of the southern hills. Returning the refugees to their homes must start with the destruction of those goblins. But first, we need to know their numbers. Travel east into Anandir. Get as close to the goblin camp as you can without being seen. I do not want the goblins following you back to Amon Wraith. So use stealth. Avoid goblins. What can I do for you? Relics stolen from an Arnorian, st Arnorian statue. I'm glad you saved them, Rilmore. Clearly it's not safe to restore them. Though perhaps it can be done in more peaceful times. I will keep these safe. And they will be treasured when I return to Estel Esteldeen. For these belong to the men of Numenor. I don't know if you can help me. A poor farm overrun by wargs. We fled this way, and this kind ranger vowed to protect us from the dangers coming out of Anandir. I dare not go back. What if the wargs linger there? It is east along the road. I would dearly love to return soon. We have a livelihood to make to make there. I'm gonna finish up this uh quest over here that I got in the fields of Borgost. Girthagar, Life Sapper. A great shuddering dread chills you to the bo to your bones. You have encountered Girthagar, a terrifying presence in the for fields of Fornost. This ghostly being is strong from having pulled the life from the lands around it. Roused Guardians of Amon Amarun. The ancient guardians of Amon Amarun have awoken, pouring out of the tombs in a blind rage. stone. An old stone marker. Do more. <clears throat> Who disturbs Amon Amrun? More thieves to unearth our treasure? Have a taste of death, thief. You dare to steal from the ancient dead? Dumoran is enraged by the notion of thieves rummaging through the ancient tomb of Amonrun. Amonrun. Thief, a thousand curses upon those who steal.
Life, whole and hail. Let me devour you. I will drain all that you have, all that you are. Your death will be destroyed. You've driven off Kurthagar. You have defeated Kurthagar. Gurthagar. One of the chief forces of evil in the fields of Fornost. This entrance has been opened. You feel that you are being watched. As you pass, they appear behind you. You defeated a number of angry shades at Amon Amrun. Speak with the person who follows you here. Um, I really want that vase, dude. Who followed me? Who done it? Let me guess. Colbert? Was it Col Colbert? It was Colbert. Greetings, friend. Clever to be found to have found me out. The Brothers Colbert, adventurers. That's who we were before we adventured here. The Brothers Colbert, grave robbers, before we robbed the wrong grave. The Brothers Colbert, making a fine living before Amon Amrun. Now it is just one Colbert, Colbert the Mad. It would seem that Colbert the Mad sent you here as a sort of confession to his crimes of robbing tombs and poking around where he didn't belong. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? You asked Colbert the Mad what happened here after he attempted to rob the graves of Amon Amrun. Two w went in and one came out. But I never came out. Not really. The shades that stirred as we cradled the loot. They stir now in my mind. Always. I can never leave Amon Amrun. Like the shades. Soon I'll be no more than a wandering ghost, just like them. Okay. No problem.
Heirloom chests. We've discovered a stolen chest that surely enraged the shades, and none other than Colbert's brother, dead. A simple looking wooden box. The initials WP are carved into the bottom of the box. And now it has an arrow hole in it. Oh, I don't I certainly don't take it back to him. Find the heirloom chest and return the tomb. Uh which tomb might that be? Oh, we'll go around. Wraith of the Tomb's Guardian. The Wrath of the Tomb's Guardian seems to have been appeased. Which is why I'm going to go ahead and... Can I be of service? Ed, it is, liter it, it is a little clearer now. The fog is receding. How strange. Do you know, it wasn't very wise for my brother and I to come here and start robbing random tombs. We're professional treasure hunters, but we separated from the rest of the group a few weeks back. We were seeking the riches of old Fornost. I wonder if the others are still encamped where we left them. A moment of your time, friend. Would you like to ex would you like to explore Fornost City? <gasps> we could see if my old companions are still there. Last I saw them, they had made an encampment within the gate, southwest of the city itself. I could meet you there. I think I will head back and join them. Minchem is a fine fellow, but a bit serious for me. Yaha. Oh boy. Oh. 
Um, hello. Oh, it's freezing again. Why am I freezing? Kill the grunt. Kill the grunt. Thank you. Oh. I think I'm on the wrong end of the room. city. Discover the treasure hunter's camp. Sweet. Colbert the Mad. What can I do for you? Uh, I knew you'd make it. You're too curious to stay away from much of anything, aren't you? 
Well, here's our little band. Folks gathered up in the keep, they're knocking their heads together for some serious plans. Refer it down here, where sensible folks, uh, folks are thinking about how to survive. This isn't the most welcoming of places. Oh, this is hype. I'm not... I'm not sure why these rangers are so determined to purge these, this ruin. Stay a moment. I don't care one whit about orcs, goblins, treasure, or beasts. It's them worms that ha keep me up at night. Have you seen the size of them? It's unnatural. They're up north of here, slithering around. You can hear them hissing when, they're, when all's quiet. How may I help you? Greetings. Why aren't you... You're not... I want to sell. Emma Slee. Would you do something for me? It troubles me that so many of the shades remain in within Fornost. Are there so many that have not repented for their betrayal? It's hard for me to believe this. Perhaps the will of one keeps them here. There is a legend of the Battle of Fornost which tells of a great captain, Riamul, who led his men forth from the city, only to betray his oath and laid them instead against King Arvu Arvu Arvedui in favor of Angmar. Perhaps you should seek Riamul, Riamul and bring him word of his pardon. I do not know whether he remains unwittingly or willingly, for I cannot know the mind of the dead. I cannot see why he should choose to suffer so. What do you need? Please, you must find Captain Rimi Riamul. These shades need no longer suffer. What do you need?
Nice. Will you give me a moment of your time, friend? Arch Widow. Hello there. Perhaps if you are going to Pornos, you could help me. I'm from Trestle Bridge, and Nelly and the rest of us are very worried about the forces amassing here, particularly the orcs and goblins. If such a large host is allowed to leave Fornost, Trestle Bridge won't stand a chance against it. Perhaps you could go into Fornost and deal a blow to the orcs and goblins. Come back to me when you have completed the task. How can I be of service? It's... I hate goblins. Killing goblins would help us defend our homes, but just rid the world of them would be cause enough. Would you do something for me? Have you seen the big old trolls in Fornost? They are fearsome beasts. I took one look at them and ran back here as fast as my legs would carry me. Weren't my proudest moment. You have a look about you as if you'd seen some fair battles. What do you think of a wager? If you can best any of them trolls, I'll offer you a right reward. If you don't, well, you'll get no mockery from me. Stay a moment. It is unlikely that the second Uruk general will show his face to us in Fornost. Nevertheless, we must attempt to lure him out and defeat him. Take this armor into Fornost and display it somewhere near the Great Fountain. It may be enough to goad the general into revealing himself. The Great Fountain may not appear as, as such. It has surely been desecrated by the orcs. So you may want to look for something that appears like an idol to Sauron. The battle will likely be difficult. I would advise you not to even dare entering Fornos without allies. Return to me after you've defeated the Uruk general. You got a fool of a took over here. What the heck? Will you give me a moment of your time, friend? Hail, fellow adventurer. I can't tell you how good it is to see a stranger who's real flesh and blood and not of the orc made kind. You have found us, a humble band of adventurers stranded here in a dark place. We came for treasure and to fight through the fabled paths of Fornost, but found ourselves overwhelmed by the dead right quick. Now we're only, now we're only trying to survive. We haven't been the same since we set foot in, t in that evil place. Reynold Potts. I'm sure it will do no good, but may I speak with you? Surely you have seen the corrupted, miserable beasts that roam here. It is the long influence of Fornost's corruption, I think, that hurts them so. It would be a mercy to put them down, for it is no life to graze in this in these lands. Earl Fisher. Did do something for me. Elsie hates all them worms, but I tell you. Gadrapan is the worst. We heard the orcs one night as they whispered. Scared to come too close, they were. They didn't want Ga Gadrapan to eat them. I ain't seen the great worm, but 
We must be fearsome to scare those orcs. Come back to all that, don't you worry. It's just the Farnost. Oh, this is quick. Not what I want. Sorry.
was actually in Pornos, though. Brave of water. Get that.
Gadget Pod. Get rid of Worm Slayer there. What do you need? Well, that's a start. Well done, Rillmore. You're more useful than these lugs. Can't you leave me to my misery? 
Well done, Rilmor. I only hope the effects of your endeavor may last. Last. I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? Such vile corruption. You'd think the poor beasts had have been poisoned. Unclean water and grass would be my guess. This is no doubt the work of, the, of some orc, and a smart one at that. I've heard of defilers and poisoners and the like amongst the orcs. Do you think the blo the Blogmall have such such a one in their midst? How can I be of service? Well done, right? Very well done, High Elf. That was small, no small deed. Oh. Something for me. Lots of orcs and goblins in these parts, especially around the gates to the city. They tried to cut off our retreat with the treasure hunt when the treasure hunt wasn't going well. We escaped. They came looking for us at night. Luckily, we've remained hidden. If you take off a head or two of those evil creatures, lots of folk here will thank you. It'll make this place a great deal safer. Where's the defiler? How far into the city? Ooh. Okay. We got this.
Unless we can take the lead at least. Sorry, it almost sounded like you said Saruman. What's he got to do with any of this? What the heck? Valakas. Oh, he's one of those uh, Earthkin. But he's evil. Huh. Look, don't look hot crap. Oh, he's level one hundred. Get away, get away, get away. So he's in, he's also inside the castle. Okay. I gotcha. Don't hurt me. Oh, I'm getting I'm okay.
focus on that one. I wanted to focus on everything. Too late. Greetings, friend. Bold warrior you are. You do not look you do not do not look it, but I stand here corrected. Alright. You know the rules and so do I. May I help you? How may I help you? What do you need? How may I help you? After the Suluk, it is time. Um, actually, first I'm gonna see how well I can do just by myself. 
It shouldn't be too... Uh, this level, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Fornost, the last capital of the fallen North Kingdom. It is here that the Witch King of Angmar crushed the realm of Re Arnor. And it is here to which Angmar has returned to conquer Eriador. Fornost, the last capital of the fallen North Kingdom. It is here that the Witch King of Angmar crushed the realm of Arnor, and it is here to which Angmar has returned to conquer Eriador. That's what I said. Oh. It's a little to match me, huh? I don't like that. Small skeleton, an ancient skeleton. I tried. Easy. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I don't think it's gonna work. I am making a...
Oh, I can still get the defiler. What's wrong with me? Um. That's probably what I'll do, and then I'll start helping out in Anunmir because I need fellowship people to do Fornost. Siege weapon parts. A partially constructed siege. Partially constructed siege weapon. That actually is orcish. The Blogmall orcs are building siege equipment in their camps. Their camp outside of the once great city of Fornost. Whatever their purpose, it cannot be good. You should destroy the siege equipment. It will be my genuine pleasure. goblins as well. This way, I guess. Minimum level 90 ancient treasure that has been lost, forgotten, or perhaps stolen. Jeez.
hate it. There he is, the defiler. Defeated the Blog Mall Defiler. What can I do for you? You have thwarted Angmar's plans, Rilmor. It will take them much longer now to amass the siege weapons they need. For a time, at least, Tre Trestle Bridge and Breland should be safe. It's a sorry day. 
mighty relieved that you were able to do away with the defiler. The blight he caused was getting to the animals. Soon it would have got to us too. Okay, Mugwarts. Get rid of the Mugwarts. Elders oh, Band. do you need? I shall have to return here another time. <laughs> but there are people to join me. Um, I will head back to Trestle Bridge then. What do you need? Litos or with three toes. Hydration. 
How's it going, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> How's your weekend? You're a pretty good weekend. Come. You're seen by a goblin and have failed the scouting mission. Damn it. My job was to not get caught. I got carried away. I wanted to murder them. Killing gobbies is so fun. Oh, that's not a warg. Fence. A fence wrecked by the, the attacking wargs. I am facing my target. I'm facing my target. Uh, great new ones. Move them around. That type of thing. Change the order. I forget how I had it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Fences all over Nathan Hodge's farm have been broken by the marauding wargs. You should repair the fences in case the Hodges ever wish to return. Alright. I can do that. But it also should be killing the wards. Stand fast. Maybe more. Scarecrow, a scarecrow, perfect for hanging some warg bait.
You've done a kindness to the Hodges, for there will be less work for them when they return. Hopefully they will soon be back at home, able to focus on getting back on their feet. Hydration. It is time to hydrate. I am. Um, I was bombarded with hydrates earlier. I was in uh, Nan Wathren. Uh, what was it? Nan Wathren. Yeah. And um, I just got a slew of them, so I just got a bunch of drinks in here. <laughs> Not pop. So I'm actually getting hydrated. I'm not just using it as an excuse to have a drink. So yeah. It is indeed. And I will forget usually. <laughs> to be gaming and I'm like, why am I thirsty? <laughs> there's, there's a problem in my... <laughs> My mouth is dry, but I don't know, but, but, <laughs> I'll check it out once I get through this level. It's not that bad, but still. <laughs> yeah. Death. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there's a water wraith I have to worry about over here, so who even knows, man? I'm sorry. Did he need something? You cleared out the rest of the wargs that were hanging about? Thank you, Rilmore. You're a real hero. We'll go back soon and try to rebuild. Alright, let's try this again. Could I speak with you a moment? I got noticed last time. I will scout the Gabi camp. Which is where? Okay, there. Crabine can see me, which is strange. Okay, we have a little fireplace, which means the gobbies are nearby, probably. Don't hurt me. No. 
No! No! I hate everything! That freaking sucks. <laughs> Where does it take me? Bro! Why is it so far away? <laughs> why did it have to be this far away, dude? <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Now, does it count as any goblin, or does it have to be the ones from this area? There's some orcs. Don't need to fuss about those guys anymore. Names are grayed out, so I can't tell where the goblins are. Okay. Shocker. Oh god. No, get off the horse, get off my horse. Don't, don't hurt my horsey. is a great big gobby. Okay. Break a leg. Huh, not even that. That's a goblin. Is that a goblin? There. Probably. Alright. The time for stealth is over, for a man nearby needs your help. Intruders! Intruders! Bad. How can I be of service? Thank goodness. I thought I was done for. I ran from the wargs and was ambushed by goblins instead. To explain that the way to Amon Wraith is clear of goblins, and urge the man to head that way to come under Amarian's protection. 
Thank you, Riddlemore. I will. You're not... You're not going further, are you? Stay a moment. I would turn back if I were you. It's not but danger up ahead. The way you came is safe, right? Well, I'll head that way. To this Samarian fellow. Sounds better than trying to fend for myself out here. Off you go, then. Into the hole. Or something. I don't know. Stone Chief. The Stone Hold Chief. Lies at the center of all the goblins' mischief in Anundir. An Anundir. Anundir. What? An Anundir. Yeah. You should defeat the Stonehold Chief and send a strong message to the goblins menacing these lands. Tent and a goblin encampment. Destroy it. Nice. There he is, the chief himself. You have defeated the Stonehold Chief, eliminating the greatest weight of the goblin threat in Anundir.
made it. Everyone's here. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. Greetings. You've done well, Rilmar. And almost better than I had hoped. The goblins had, have surely heard our message. They are not welcome here, nor ever will be. I do not have the means to reward you as richly as you deserve. But I hope this small token will serve as a reminder of the good you have accomplished for Amarian and the people of Anundir. And here I am, staring down my nose at all of his rewards, quote unquote. Could I speak with you a moment? What a help you have been to us, Rilmore. I imagine that with the wargs driven off, we can put this ba area back to right. I must ask one last thing of you, my, f my friend. Orthon watches over Anondir from a lonely post. Very few folk come his way. Would you check to make sure that he fares well and offer him news of the Western Downs while you're there? targeted. spell. Melvin Glade, Author Car, Trestle Bridge, Warhouse. The Eastern Ruins. Ostlagros. Lagoros. We've discovered Ostlagros. Greetings to you. Hail, stranger. Ah, Marian sent you? What news from Amon Wraith? Greetings, friend. Will you well, lend me your ear? Welcome to Ostlagoros. 
Traveler. I wish that I could offer you more comfort, but as you can see, it is a sparse little ruin with little to offer. It is so nice to have some company. Would you be willing to collect some firewood and driftwood nearby? It would bring some cheer to this guttering flame. We shall be warm and comfortable then. Some wood, ideal for firewood. Don't try anything. Thank you. Some driftwood, ideal for fueling fire. How can I be of service? Uh, this will do well, Rollmore. Do pull up a seat, rest, and let us talk. It has been long since I have had company at my fire. Will you give me a moment of your time, friend? I look at what happened at the farmlands as a failing of my own. Marianne and I guard this road, but the wargs moved betwe between us. We did not espy them until it was too late for the farmers. Amarian guards them now, but I wish to make amends for my negligence. Will you help me gather furs to send them, send those poor folk? It's not much, but it will keep away the chill of night. And bears, what? Which bears am I allowed to kill? 
Let's find out. We're not showing up on the Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? Come to think of it, Realmore, I would ask another favor of you before you go. Another traveler passed along the road, a short little fellow. He went west, not long long before the war attacks on the farmland. I fear he may have been hurt, or worse. Will you search for him in Anu Anundir? Wargs of Anundir. The wargs have free reign of the unguarded lands of Anundir, especially upon the the tooth hill of of Hoth Egla Eglan. You should defeat the wargs of Anundir and investigate Hoth 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 Eglan Eglan Hoth Eglan.
disturbed earth. Someone or something has been digging in the soil. The burial mound looks recently exhumed. Bone pile. Several bones litter the ground here. The wargs have been busy feasting. Hail, friend, and well met. I see you've found some bones, Rilmore. Some of these are fairly small, but I wouldn't say any of them would belong to the traveler I saw. Unless I'm very much mistaken, I'd say most of these are goblin bones. It seems to me that the wargs and the goblins must not get along well all the time. And that is good for us. Let us fight. Let, let them fight amongst themselves. And there will be fewer for us to worry about. How can I be of service? Very kind deed. Thank you, Rilmore. We're a skilled hunter and, a, and speedy at that. Hail, friend, and well met. You found evidence of digging among the wargs at that large mound? It's very strange. I wonder if they found what they were looking for. I wonder what it is they seek. Will you give me a moment of your time, friend? You must be weary from your efforts and long travels, Rilmore. Loth as I loath as I would be to see you leave. I feel obliged to tell you that there is a dwarf keep not far from here. Ooh. It offers far more by way of comforts than this sad little campfire ever could. Othrakar is the name of the dwar is the name the dwarves have given it. They're friendly as dwarves go. If you wish to find a more hab habitable place to stay, it is a very sh short distance to the northeast. A stone dwelling nestling nestled into the hills.
Did I miss? No, I didn't. Did I? I missed the turn. So what I get for just staying off the road. Ah. Analog West. Or is it Dwarf and City? I'm home. <laughs> Sam, good evening. Sam Pickwell. What are you doing here? You're not a door. Get out of here. Try provisioning those this band of louts. Maybe you actually will. Othricar, the northern dwarf keep. I am at your service. Well met, traveler. Welcome to Othrakar. You may find rest here, or work, if it suits you. What do you say to that? Welcome. You've come at a most fortuitous time. There's a cold winter coming. I feel it in my bones. We dwarves are hardy folk, but if we're going to survive the winter, we will need more supplies. Hunt the troublesome lynx that seem to cover the land hereabouts and bring them my, bring me their fur. I'll craft our hides into warm f warm gloves for our miners. Greetings, traveler. I'll need more furs than this if I am to craft any more gloves as needed. Welcome. You've come at a most fortuitous time. Listen, friend. We have problems here. Big problems. Those cursed dour hands weren't content to ruin the operations, operation of the mines while they were here, but when they left, they ruined or stole what food we had. Then there's orcs and wargs that came down from the north, driving the farmers who used to supply us out of their fields. And when we venture out of Othrakar, we have to do so in force due to the dour hands camped nearby. In short, we have we are having a lot of trouble with supplies. We need meat. I can give you a feed and good good silver. If you could hunt some bears for us. They wander the hills to the south. I am at your service. We'll take a lot of bear meat to feed a hungry feed the hungry miners. Don't tell anyone, but instead of paying me in coin, Hanar's letting me in on a share of the mine. I tell you, I've been here since before the pro. What? That? Oh, what? What? I can't read that fast. Wait, General.
I tell you, I've been here since before the dour hands were thrown out. So what does that prove? Proves I was around to hear them talk, talking about the weapon cache they hit, they kept hid. That's just some legend to keep us long beards in hand. It's not, I tell you. With it, we could better defend ourselves from those lowly dour hands. Perhaps, but unless you overheard where it was hidden, it's as good as fool's mithril. Ah. Of what help may I be to you? What do you need? I'm from out of Bree. It's a long way from home, but it pays well. Did you need something? How may I be of assistance? Talk to me. Mr. Dwarf, please talk to me. I heard you gossiping and everything. I'm not staying here long. I was waiting for the roads to get a little safer. Dwarves here require tools, weapons, and armor, just as they do anywhere else. Don't... Oh. Well, you're not the only one to say that Hanar is letting you have some of the mine. Who is this wonderful Hanar fellow? They can't talk to you. An abandoned footlocker. And of course Bonnie was, darn it. The hour is too late for idle talk. Another day in the mines, another day well spent. In the morning, I will return to my labors, but for now, I go to rest. The sound of pick and shovel resounding off the mine walls is music to my ears. And dwarves are so cool.
that, friend? Thank you for your help, my friend. We'll fashion these fur furs into gloves to protect the miners from the bitter cold of the deep mines. Old Nine-Fingered Dolly will be happy about that, I can tell you. No, Smokey. Only I can prevent forest fires. Your services are no longer required. Okay, how on earth do I deselect that, uh, whatever this is? What on earth is that? Herb native to Nanamlug. You've encountered a number of interesting herbs in your travels. These should be collected as you make your way through the lands and brought to the ranger Orth Orthon. Alright, sure. If anyone tried to disrupt our effort, disrupt our efforts here, we will fall on them like a hammer on, on the anvil. What do you need? Well met, friend. Good, good. That mead will, should last us quite a while. Thank you for your help, friend. How can I aid you, friend? I would be grateful for your assistance. I'm Regin, in charge of smelting here in Othrakar. The yields are down again. We're running out of silver in this mine. But I've heard that somewhere in these hills, there is a father load which, with veins rich with gold, maybe even mithril. Though I find it not likely, as Moria's silver as Moria Silver's not been found anywhere but Casadoom. The Dower Hands ruined the old prospecting records as they left, though. 
We need to find the proper records to find the father load. I suspect these records are still around Othrakar someplace. Perhaps in a chest or locker. If you can discover them, you'll be doing us Longbeards a real service. At your service and your families. I'm sure those records are around Othrakar someplace. I guess I'll lock her. Collected the mining records. At your service and your families. Aye. That looks like it could be it. Wait. What is this? Most of these records are just ordinary prospector's reports. Not too useful. But this one. I cannot make this page out at all. Could this be the key to the mystery of the father load? I would be grateful for your assistance. I can't keen I can't ken these runes at all. Why, unless I miss my mark entirely, I think these are some kind of elf writing. Now, how could directions to a dwarf mine have been written have ever been written in some elvish script? Do you think someone do you think anyone in these parts could understand this language? Find someone who can translate the mining records. Elvish, eh? Sorry, friend. Can't help you with that. What do you need? What do you need? Yes, I can read a spot of Elvish. My father was a scholar, and he learned many things from Balin. He passed a fair bit of it down to me. Passed a bit, fair bit of it on to me. Let me have a look. Ah, it appears that it was an elf who found the dwarves' load in the first place. It explains this writing, and perhaps also why the dwarves are of old never mind the load, for they would not have wished to ask an elf for help. It appears that these records refer to a map that must have once been included with them. I hope Regin has that map, for the records are not detailed enough to stand on their own. Well met, friend. So we're missing a map, eh? I wonder. Well, thank you again for your work. And stay a moment, friend. I believe the map must have been taken by the Dower Hands. They must have left the old records you found because they couldn't read them. But I guess that the map is in the hands of the Dower Hand foreman who used to have my job. Unless I miss my mark, I'd say that foreman Nirid. Nirid. Is it Nirid or Nirid? Probably Nirid is with many of the other dour hands at their camp to the north. This is a big request, but if you can get that map back from Foreman Nyrid, I think we'll be able to find the father load at last. I suspect you'll find the map in a chest in Foreman Nyrad's tent at the camp. But he might also be carrying it around on his person. I am at your service. Working a smithy in this remote place isn't exactly the great forge in Thorin's Hull, but it is, it's a step forward. Laja Sagasaw. Come and stay a moment. Good day to you. Have you seen all of the Hendravales? Or Northhawks? As some call them? These wicked birds have always been dangerous. But it seems there are more and more of them about nowadays. I think that the Dower Hands have started taming them. I'm afraid that they are being used as spies. If you would earn favor with us, go out and kill as many of the foul creatures as you can. You can find them all throughout the hills around Othrakar. If you will do this for us, 
I'll see you to it that you are rewarded for your work. Well met. I am sure the dour hands are using those wretched birds to spy on us. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Ever since we threw those cursed dour hands out of Rothrakar, they've been skulking around the area. We think they're planning to raid us and retake the mines. They have several large camps around the Northlands, and they have scouts spying on us here as well as carrying messages between the camps. Soon they will be ready to move against the dour soon we will be ready to move against the dour hands directly. But for now I need you to put an end to their spying. Defeat as many of the dour hands scouts as you can as you can find around Othrakar in the Northlands of Nan Amlug. The sound of the hammer and anvil ringing in the hills reminds me of home. Wanna fight cat? I'm kitty. Daddy. Kill some birds. Two more birds. One. Oh. Bad 
Collect the Oh pulling beards. You've arrived at the room, and it is crawling with dour hands. These foes are surely organized and pose a dire threat to Authorakar. Find to defeat the leader of the Dower Hands. My pleasure. Collect the Dower Hand Mining Map. A number of Dowerhand miners have gathered at Darum, too close to Othrakar for comfort. You should defeat the Dowerhands that have amassed at Thurum. Sure. Sack of yeast. Yeast suitable for brewing. You found a large sack of stolen yeast in the mining camp outside of Thurum, bearing signs of having once belonged to Othrakar. The good dwarves of Othrakar will surely be missing the key ingredient for their beer brewing. Never come between a dwarf and his booze. Morphe's guard down. You've defeated a number of the dangerous Dowerhand miners at the room, reducing the grave threat to Othrakar. However, Torfi Hammerhorn remains. The leader of these Dowerhand. any extra milestones yet it just occurred to me <laughs> there's probably one yeah imagine yeah there's one in Estil Dean and then that's basically it I think it's crazy all right back we go I 
just gotta find the last of the stolen yeast. Oh, there's two camps. It's quite great. I can't really negotiate with him with it knees bleeding out dead. some plants too. No, don't attack. Thank you. Oh. Bro, I still need that like You found it! This is wonderful news! Let me see, let me see! I would be grateful for your assistance. Ha! Now we can finally find the father load. Hmm. Wait a moment. These directions are not exactly what I was expecting. Find the father in the raw rock. The load lies amongst high hills. Fell falcons soar through skies, and savage lynx guard the gorges. Shining the silver, glittering the gold, a cliff's crags keep the secret. They had a poetic turn back in the day. They had a poetic turn back in the old days. But I wish they had more. They they were more precise. Well, I think we at last have some idea how to proceed. The map and those directions together speak clearly to me of a cliff northwest of Arthurcar. All you have to do is find a suitable rock formation that is rich with ore. If you do, take a sample and we'll see if it's the true father load. I am at your service. I wish I could give you better directions. But please head out there and look for the lost load. Greetings. Aye, a fine job you've done for us. I'm still worried about those dour hands, but at least now, perhaps, they have been somewhat blinded. It's time for the dour hands to feel our wrath. Well met. You defeated Tor Torfi Tamerhorn? Truly? This is Welcome news for us, Longbeards. Long have we suffered the oppression of those loutish dour hands. We do not wish to suffer it again. You've done us a noble service, my friend. The Longbeards of Othrakar will long remember your name. I do not like the reports you bring back of all the scouts you have amassed around, who have amassed around Othrakar. The dour hands are gathering in the hills. That much is clear. We must drive them out.
at your service and your families. Our stolen yeast delivery. Morale was growing poor indeed with the prospect of no beer to sweeten our days. Thank you very much for bringing this home to us, Romor. Hello, Alex. How's it going, dude? Hello. I am great as well. I have made a lot of progress. <laughs> I have... I started the North Downs here today. And I went... And kind of here and then back there and then and that's my that's been my stream it's been great it's been a good time do you play and if so are you on Laurelin? because um i've i've got i got stopped at fornost i need help with fornost <laughs> need other players out to help me not just help but like i guess it's not meant to be done by one person. I don't want to be doing it with randos either. Because I'll just kind of skip ahead. But I'll figure it out. But for now, I'm going to put it off. I will return to you for an ost. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I missed it myself, and then then I started streaming it, and it's and people like it, so heck yeah, and I like it too. Heck, I'm, and I, I'm going all the way to the end. I will. I'm. I'm a thousand percent. I'm going to. This Rilmore will reach Umbar one of these days. I don't know when. It will not be soon. But I will get Rilmar to Umbar one day. So I'm just gonna keep just keep going in the story and do all the and hundred percent everything. Behold the plan. It's my checklist for Ariador. <laughs> it's my checklist, like in the order I'm doing things. Oh yeah, dude. We're also keeping date in the up here to where um, everyone is in the fellowship and stuff. On this day, oh, Griezger. Um, on the. Officially on this day, this is the day that, um, I think it is that Glorfindel is meeting up with Aragorn. Not Arwen. <laughs> a, ro a large rock formation that reveals glittering gold flakes. I found the mother load for the dwarves. I'm not even mad. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I love, I love telling the whole, uh, reasoning for, for this, <laughs> I just think it's funny that, um, I'm, I don't exactly role play, okay, but like in, I've established the fact that Rillmore is like, dwarves are the best thing ever to Rillmore, and here's why, because, okay, I, I don't know if you've ever, when you played it, if High Elves were out, or if you did this High Elf at beginning part, right? <laughs> I've told this story so many times at this point. But, <laughs> um, 
But at, when you play High Elf, you do the Last Alliance battle, and then you get stabbed by a Morgul Blade by the Witch King, and then you wake up exactly 3,018 years later, just in time for the end of the Third Age. And then that's kind of where you start, right? But the thing is, which is, that's all fine and stuff. And um, then you decide to stay. Um, so, at the battle, though, I'm doing the thing. Some dwarves are there to help with, like, defenses and stuff. Don't, don't throw the axe, jerk. And, um... <laughs> All they're doing there is for engineering stuff, right? Um, you can watch it on my YouTube in part one. But, like... <laughs> but, like, they, they're there setting up the war, some war machines. They're not there to actually fight. They're just there on commission, basically, right? Not the, Like, not as soldiers, just as... Just, but, like, it's also an excuse to have dwarves around, right? So, anyways. So, <laughs> my buddy uses rupees at the bottom to... Use, um, no action. He banned an action for combat. And it's the last alliance. Like, oh, jeez, okay. So I end up trying to bring, like, I ra I'm in the middle of combat. I am i can't fight back, so I run back, right? And then the dwarves are over here. And then the host of men are over here, right? I'm trying to run through. The dwarves immediately dogpile all my enemies. And then the orcs that make it past... I'm in the host of Isildur and Anarian and everyone, and they don't lift a finger. They're just standing there looking pretty. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the origin of how the dwarves are the best race, to, according to Rilmore. <laughs> I just thought the way that played out was just really funny to me. So now I have it. Where, uh, the the fellowship is the barrel Suluk, which is Neo Kuzdul for um, you know the barrel dragons, barrel being what the elf stone is, but also barrel is green, so green dragons. It works on many levels. I am very clever. Greetings, traveler. Let's see that rock. I think. Aye, this is it. High quality gold bearing ore. We still have to deal with those cursed dower hands. And there, there are all kinds of other dangers to take care of as well. But as if we can manage, we'll all be rich. I cannot thank you enough, friend. You certainly deserve a reward for your work here. And little though it may be, know that you will always be a welcome, a welcome guest in the minds of Othrakar. Okay, I could be mad that they literally got rich and didn't give me anything. Or, I could be glad that I could help some dwarves. <laughs> I choose the latter. Oh, that's great. I'm on one of my few respites from working the mine. I do not mind, though. Digging is more pleasure than work. Feel awful for the guards. Never getting to work the mines always have having to be above ground. PvP? I haven't done PvP in a while. Hanar's leadership is as steadfast as the mountain. He will see us through. Um I haven't like I haven't played um Orc mode, I guess it's called. Actually, I don't think I ever have on any of my characters. I should get to that. I'll do that at some point. Like, it takes place in the Yetin Moors, right? So, like, this is all PvP stuff. So I could, like, I'll probably do that once I, like, get to Rivendell. Yeah. All in its, all in its, its time, I guess. <laughs> Greetings, traveler. Will you stay a moment? I have just received word that there is, after all, one last farmer in the North Downs. A fellow named Gatson refuses to leave his land to the orcs. It may be that he still has grain to sell us. If you would, pay Gatson a visit to learn if this is true. Tell him we will pay him good silver for his produce. 
Gatson's farm is not too far south of the hills. Our numbers are few, but we are equal to the task. Have you seen the Yorthkin? There's rumors that we dwarves and they are related. That's crazy. That'd be actually be crazy. Man, it was so funny. The beginning of the stream, like after stream, rewatched like the 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 vod. It's so funny because like I was outside the Thorns Hall, the, the homestead in Thorns Hall. I built the made the fellowship, and I'm like, this. I need an estate for the the. I need a fel a kinship for the estate. I made the kinship, and then I tried to buy the estate. Turns out you need to wait 90 days of having a, fe a, f a kinship before you can buy an estate. So <laughs> I'm just like. Dang it, I don't get my house. <laughs> this house I've been staring at. And like, and like, I even bought furniture for it, and I had to go sell it. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, uh, that's a good time, dude. Yeah, I, I, I love this game so much. I might need to get some food soon, though. Not too soon. I won't lose my farm. That's what. Oh, this is intolerable. Aye, it's true. I had a rich harvest this year, and I'd gladly sell it off if I could. I had not done business with the dwarves in the past, because those dour hands were nasty fellows. But now that, that Durin's folk are in charge, I'd be more than willing to do business with them. Or rather, I should say, I would happily sell the grain if I still had it. Those cursed orcs have raided my farm and taken most of the harvest. Alas, it looks like I will not be able to help you. Unless... I do not ask much of you. There's been orcs around here lately. So far, they've just skulked around, stealing things, but... I'm sure as soon as they get their courage up, they're going to raid us. I guess I'm just too stubborn to run. And my friend and my hands, like Gilmar here, are too loyal to me to leave me. So I need you to get rid of these orcs for me. You'll like as not find find them sneaking around in my fields to the south. Get those fell creatures off my land. Why are you bothering me? Them orcs smell weakness. If you can chase them off for chase more of them off. They might think twice before but bothering us again. This is my home, and I won't, and I don't want to lose it. What can I do for you? I heard Master Gadson sent send you after them orcs t in the south fields. You be careful; they fight like a wolf cornered in a barn. Stay a moment. Everyone on a farm needs to pull their own weight. Every fancy stranger out of... Even fancy strangers out of the south. We've got our hands full here dealing with the harvest and worrying about the orcs nearby. Anyways, Master Gatson... Master Gatson's little herd of cattle could use some new blood. While wild oryx would do nicely, but the bulls are far too aggressive to drive into the pasture. So what I want you to do is to pick out a good-looking yarling from the wild oryx herd not far to the southeast. A young oryx should be pretty docile. Just don't get in the way of any of the bulls, and you should be fine. And, oh yes, 
I've seen some orcs out there lately, so be careful of them too, you hear? Hear me? What do you need? If you want to prove your worth around here, you'll go get that orc. Here, you'll get those orcs for me? Thank you kindly. What is this world coming to? Uh, it's true the orc raids have whittled the herd to almost nothing. An Aurochs yearling would go a long way to bringing it back. Olin Walker. Me and Gilmar ain't like the others. We'll hold fast while Master Gatson with Master Gatson till the end. Greetings. An Oryx yearling's just the thing we need to re revive the herd. I say I saw a wild herd with a yearling the other day. Just over the hill there. yearling the young oryx low plain oryx lows plaintively and runs off ahead of you the oryx yearling trots off ahead of you Helps me fight is the best thing. <laughs> Why are you going this way? Good 
Good job. Don't worry, I'll take care of that yearling calf. Best go to the Arx yearling safety. What do you need? Yearlings spook easily. It's best to keep him somewhere quiet. Don't you worry, though. He'll be running about soon enough. Orcs. What do you need? Oh. He said something else. Oh, this is intolerable. You've done well, my friend. We've got more problems, but at least you taught those orcs a lesson. What do you need? It's a fine job. A right fine job, I say. Thanks for your help with that there are with that there arcs. Master Gadsen asked me to give you this small payment for your work. Things have been rough with just Alwyn and me left to mind the farm, and the Morks all are out. I'm sorry for thinking you was a bit shifty when I first saw you. When you first showed up. I guess I was wrong about you. You've done some good work. Hard work. You've done some good hard work. Stay and hear me out. My fault, I guess. When you killed those orcs in the field, in my fields, the rest of their ale got pretty stirred up. I think they're getting ready to raid my my herd, grazing to the south of here. I'd like you to go down there and help me help my man Alwyn defend the herd from those orcs. Alwyn's a hair is a fair hand with a bow, but he's no fighter. Them orcs will finish my herd quick, and maybe worse. Make sure Alwyn doesn't get hurt on my account. I don't think the orcs will be caught unawares this time. Why are you bothering me? Alwyn's with the herd a ways south of here. Make sure he's not hurt because of my stubborn pride. Will you let me speak my piece? It may just be a chance that you can help me. It seems to me that all of my stolen grain may still be at the orc's camp not far from here. If you can recover that grain for me, I'll be glad to sell it off to Esteldeen or Othrakar. The orcs have a big camp to the south and west of here. I don't know where in the camp they would be keeping the stolen grain, but you should retrieve four sacks, four large sacks. Bring me those sacks and I'll see what I can do for the dwarves. This is intolerable. Greetings. Need. Oh, it's good to see you. These or there's orcs gathering out there. We best be on our guard. Look out! The orcs are coming. Oh. 
I'll just move this direction. Yorks have been driven off. I can hardly believe we survived. Can't wait to tell Gilmar all Gilmar about it. About this. What can I do for you? You tell Master Gadsen of the drubbing what we gave them orcs. Okay, first of all, I need the grain. Long. A large party of orcs have a, has established a camp southwest of Esteldeen, a spearhead pushing northwest from their main host at Dol Dinen. You should slay the chieftain of the orcs at this camp. With his defeat, any remaining on on Ongbers orcs will be unable to act until a new leader arrives. Gerslum lies too near to Gadsen's farm, threatening to, threatening the last inhabiting, inhabited farmlands of the North Downs. You should defeat orcs at Gerslum and drive back the enemy threat in the Kingsfell. Large sack of grain. He's happy about something. Was well, the chieftain? Defeated the Ong Ongbers chieftain, a cruel orc who stood at the head of Gerslum's of Gerslum's might. Easy solution, right? I think. Here we go.
Archer. Wandrandir. I guess it was. Oh, yeah, I guess it was. What is this world coming to? Uh, you have my thanks for helping out and keeping Alwyn safe. But I'm afraid this doesn't solve the problem. Those orcs will be back. You can be sure of that. Our grain. I'd forgotten. For we were attacked while we were while you were away. There. You see? That ill fellow came to the, in the nick of time. And took out several invading orcs. It grows ever more turbulent, dis, despite our good fortune in receiving good aid, aid at flat aid of late. I worry that we will have to abandon this farm soon. Need. What? She defeated the orcs at their source? Wonderful. You saved me. Hooray! I know it's not much, but I want you to have this reward. You're a true hero, and there's no denying it. Will you let me speak my piece? We were lucky this elf passed this way when he did. And lucky you came as well. Wish there was something we could do to help him return, but we cannot abandon our farm. Perhaps you can speak with him, if you wish to help. Thanks to you, my farm and my work hands are safe. Can't thank you enough for what you've done. My, you saved my farm. Thanks to you, my farm and my work hands are safe. Shadow is on my spirit. I saw orcs when I passed this way and could not turn a blind eye to them. I am glad I came in came here in time to save these men. I came seeking aid on behalf of Lachen, 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 the master of Lin Giliath, a small refuge of my kindred in the in the lush land of Min Meluinen. It is a small thing. No more than a slight stirring of an ill wind. The rangers are not in a position to send someone to Lechan, Lachen. But perhaps you would go. Journey south. Lith-Lin-Giliath is very near the border of Meluinen. If Lachen is not able to speak with you, to speak with Angler Anglardir. Anglardir instead.
Looks like a... There we go. Oops. Listen. The herbs and stuff should be around here somewhere soon. Yeah, there they are. Give me, give me the butter bird. In Gilead, the stone trolls of, of Tar Gonwaith attacked without mercy. Ba Chen would not abandon Lin Giliath, and he fell defending it. It is not easy to look at the destruction that was caused here. Ba Chen will be avenged. I, Thaliolag, Thaliolang, have sworn it. Agler, dear talks only of food and supplies when he should be speaking of vengeance. We will not allow the stone trolls to darken Me Meluinen any longer. What do you need? You are a warden of some skill, Romor. Thought I might have heard your name in that regard. A party of elves traveled into the caves of some stone trolls not far from here and discovered a party of hillmen of the Treve Duvar, Duvar, Duvardain, Duvardain, seeking to cause trouble. A great battle was joined with while the stone trolls were elsewhere, but the elves of my company are exhausted and in no shape to continue the fight. If you are as skilled a warden as rumors would have it, I ask that you travel travel with me to those caves and defend my elves until they're ready to continue the fight. Oh, that's, good, that's gonna be an instance. I, too, was a friend of Lachin, but I understand the need for supplies more than my fellows do. 
Now that the Bog Guardians have become feral, the marshes of Meluinen are not safe. I'm trying to think of an answer for the question Gildor posed to me. I have not yet arrived at a satisfactory answer to the question Gilmor asked me. Gildor asked me. I have been having a discussion with Gildor, and he has given me much to think on. Alright, Gildor's here, isn't he? We are in the company of Gildor Inglorian, traveling north to spread word of evil's passage. Yeah, he's the he's the wood elf that, that uh, Frodo and Sam ran into in the in uh Bria's company. I met him over by Woody End. Where is he? The stone trolls have disturbed the natural order of things in Meluinen. Um, where is he? I want to find Gildor. Gildor knew Lachan of old and has asked that we restore Lynn Gileath in his name. I need a store, dude. Give me a store. Hard work is welcome if done for great need and among friends. How may I be of service to you? Gildor's in there. Them Giliath. Stone trolls of Tower Gonwaith can never be forgiven for what they have done here. There he is, Gildor and Glorian. Dude has a nice setup. Look at this. Nice. Talk to you later, though. I don't know too. What do you need? Londra dear, Londra dear, sent you to speak with Lachen? You've come too late then. Lachen is dead. He was killed when stone trolls attacked Lynn Gileath some time before my company arrived. Provisions, provisions for the glade. We must restore the stores of Lynn Gileath as soon as we can. Grief can cause both body and spirit to suffer. But against one of these hurts, we can prepare. The stone trolls ruined the food that ha was stored here. But there are other sources of, of sustenance. Hunt the oryx on the plains of the Kingsfell to the north of Lingiliath. Their meat will go a long way to restoring Lingiliath's stores. An oryx is a dangerous foe. And you must hunt s several to obtain s enough stakes. Mind my words, traveler. Gildor and Glorian brought our company north to spread word of a great evil stirring in the south. But we found here only death. The keeper of this glade was friend to a friend to many of us. A fair elf named Lachen. He was slain by stone trolls before we arrived, in the refuge beset by ruin. I do not know what calls called the trolls out of Taragonwaith. 
But we must rebuild this place as best we can. Or it is what Lachen would have, have us do were he here to ask it. Revenge? It must wait. The trolls scattered the possessions that were stored here throughout Meluinen. Look for scattered barrel look for shattered barrels between here and Tar Gunwaith to the south. I need you to bring their contents to me. Megovanen. The tro stone trolls left much destruction in their wake. The food they likely consumed or wasted. The relics they that were stored here may have been broken, but some may have survived. Look for the shattered barrels littering, littered about the marshes to the south in Meluinen, and bring back what you can. Without Lachen, this glade will never be what it was. We must do what we can. Are you prepared, Warden Rilmore? This task may not be an easy one, for the caves are dangerous, and the stone trolls may return at any moment. This is a solo quest and cannot be completed with a fellowship. Travel now. In the woods near Lynn Galeath, a broken refuge of the elves, stone trolls have gotten the better of a small host who march to the defense of their haven. Their fate stands upon a precarious edge, but your arrival has brought them hope when their doom was nigh. Yeah, lucky break. What do you need? At last, Rilmer. You must hurry to the elves of my company, for they are weak from their battle and will not long be able to defend themselves. This way, Rilmer. Friends, I've returned with Rilmore. At last. We were able to defeat the Duvardain presence. Were you able to defeat the Duvardain presence in these caves? We slew many, but we're wa are, wine are winded from the struggle, and many Duvardain, Duvardain remain. We need time to rest. We are weakened, and we'll fight only if we must. And it is almost daybreak. The stone trolls will soon return to their caves. Rilmore, you must protect us until these elves are re rested and ready to fight. Keep the fighting from us until we are rested, Rilm Warden. Bad, 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 no. Bad. with armor dude we're going out here to deal with everything in our freaking robes for dining why we do that why are we doing that guys what are we doing here yeah, you should be wearing this dwarvish armor more. The stone trolls are returning. Um. Which way? There they are. Groggy stone troll. Oh my gosh, look at his beard. To battle!
We have done it, Realmore. Your skill as a warden has made the difference. Can I be of service? Endless thanks, Romore. If you had not been here, well, there is little point in walking that sad road. You have saved the elves of my company, friend warden, and I thank you for it. I, I want to scout around a bit. Oh my gosh, this kit, this network is enormous. And I'm also not allowed to leave. Like, where is this even supposed to be? That's my limit. Fine. How can I be of service? I'm ready to leave this place, Rolmore. We were victorious this day, thanks to you, your able defense. But it was almost not so. You have my thanks, and the thanks of my friends for it. The rumors were true, Rilmore. You are certainly a highly... Rumors are true, Rilmore. You are certainly a highly skilled warden and deserve every measure of the reputation you are earning. You are earning. I would place the safety of and well-being of my friends in your care at a moment's notice. If there was such a need. I thank you again, Rilmore. Thank you again for your tremendous help, Warden Rilmore. Look there, it is Rilmore, noblest of wardens. Brings me great pain to see the, the destruction of this once beautiful place. We will clear away the rubble and debris, though it will take long weeks of toil. Lingiliath will be beautiful once again. Word of justice, take ya. Shattered barrel. This barrel of supplies belonging to the elves has been smashed to pieces. The provisions inside ruined. Oh. The 
popsicle flies in the marshes of Mil Miluinen have been disturbed by the recent aggression of the stone trolls, creating a threat for the elves of Lingiliath. You should defeat sickle flies in Mel Mel Meluinen. Revolting Silt Toad. Forget, is Silt Toad, are Silt Toads a uh, target here? You have defeated several angered sickle flies in Meluinen, which should give the elves of Lingiliath some small respite from the hostile creatures in the glade.
what can I do for you? I do not think we could hope for mu as much as you have returned with, Rilmore. I thank you for your aid. The trolls ruined or consumed much of the food we ha that was stored here. And many relics were lost. Lachen would grieve for their these losses even as we grieve for him. With such destruction, that such destruction should come to Lin Gilead, it's a terrible thing. Lachen would want us to restore this glade as it was. I understand the need for revenge, but it is more important for us to rebuild. Will you lend me your ear? When the stone trolls learned that elves had returned to Lin Gileath, they were sure to attack they are sure to attack again. Sorry, when the tr stone trolls learned that elves have returned to Lin Gileath, they are sure to attack again. There are too few of us, and we cannot hold our hold out long. There is one defense which we can call upon, but that is but there's no certainty that those I speak of will still answer the summons. I give you these runes, Kanel they are called, and ask you to lay them upon the pedestal, pedestal stones found throughout the marshes. Long ago, many of these stones were set east of Lingiliath in a great curve bending to the south, but only three have survived the ravages of time and the elements. We must hope the guardians remember the meaning of the Canel. Return to me when you have placed all the runes. We will le we will learn if the errand was for naught. What do you need? There are three stone pedestals located throughout the marshes south of Lingiliath. Seek each of them out and place a canel a canel upon them. And we shall learn if the Bog Guardians will aid us. So they were both buddy. Mind my words, traveler. I have need of your assistance, Rilmore. An orc, an orc defiler, skilled in the use of poisons, joined the ranks of the Ongbers in southern Lin Gileath. He has begun to poison the waters of the of this glade, and all will be ruined. Slay the orcs in Marinost, and collect their venom pouches. I will make sure the pouches are never again used for evil purposes. While you are in the camp, put an end to the source of the vile poison once and for all by killing the Ongers, On Ongbers defiler. Be careful, Rilmore. These orcs are brutal and without mercy. You may have need of allies. What do you need? Rilmore, we must have some samples of the orc's poison so that we may create a cure for it. Always rebuilding, always restoring. When will our trials be finished? Stay a moment. Thaliolang and Lagorlam are so intent upon vengeance upon the, against the stone trolls that they are blind to all other threats, and I fear they will not re retain enough. I, will, I fear they will not retain enough strength of will to fight the other dangers that lurk nearby. Orcs of the Ong, Ongbers clan have established a foothold in Nanwathrin, the valley to the southwest and their scouts in intrude further into Meluinen with each passing day. Slay any orcs you find that have crossed into Meluinen, Rilmore, for they pose a great threat to Lin Giliath. You will surely find them south and southwest of here, along the line of the mountains. How can I be of service? Orcs of the Ongbers tribe have begun creeping into Meluinen from Nanwathrin, southwest of here. Defeat the orcs that have already crossed into Meluinen. 
to the south and southwest, and we may prevent or at least delay any further incursions. Is Gildor going to talk to us yet? Gildor? That's sad. Makes me sad. Something has corrupted the creatures of Meluinen and drive them into madness. Megavonen. Sorry. May I help you? Now that the Bog Guardians have become feral, the mar oh yeah, the marshes of Meluinen are not safe. Okay, might be borderline spreading myself a tad thin here. I think it, I think I'll call it here. I'm gonna continue in like on probably Wednesday and press on and probably definitely clear the North Downs. <laughs> but yeah, the timer begins ninety days. So how many days is that? I don't know, like March fifteenth or something, part way through March, that we will be able to get that house. I want that house so bad. All right, but we'll continue from here. I am among elves. A little awkward. Hey, okay, anyways. Thanks for tuning in, guys, so much. You guys are the best. Until Wednesday. <laughs>